Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carl Brown. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Python Twitch bot for your Twitch channel. Okay, it doesn't quite roll off the tongue as much as the Discord one did, but never mind. Uh, yes, today we are dealing with commands and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing this in a slightly different way than we did the Discord one. In the Discord uh, series, we put everything in a single file. In this series, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to actually be making uh, other files and dealing with stuff from there. Uh, but first, I want to make the adjustments that we're going to need to make in this file before we do anything. So there are a few extra lines we're going to need. We're going to need to make another import. Uh, so from lib, which doesn't exist yet, but we're going to make it. Import commands, which also doesn't exist yet, but we're going to make that. And then in the on public message, we need to put our, our little function to read commands and stuff. So uh, if user name is not name, so if the if the person that sent the message wasn't the bot, it then goes and processes these commands and it passes the bot, the user, and the message. Um, shut up, Sublime. We don't need you right now. <laughs> I'm not using the free version of Sublime. Um, so we're asking, well, where are these things? Well, we're going to create them right now. So if we go into, I'm using the Sublime uh, file manager here. You don't necessarily have to. If you want to do that, you can use View Sidebar and then Show Sidebar, and you can go to the File Explorer and you can uh, drag a folder actually into here, and it'll add it. Um, so we're going to be uh, right-click and New Folder. We're going to need to create one called Lib, not Loib, Lib, and inside Lib. We're going to need to create a, not a new file just yet, get a bit ahead of ourselves. We're going to need to create a new folder called commands. Now, the, because of the way we're going to do this. Um, so, just want to make sure that's, yeah, okay. It just looked as kind of as though it was part of commands, but it wasn't. Um, and then inside commands, we're actually going to need to create two new files. So, one of which is going to be called init.py. And the other, which is going to be called misc.py. Oh, that actually uses data. Uh, so our init.py is going to be our initialization for the commands module, and the misc.py is going to be some miscellaneous commands. Uh, so the init.py in in Python is 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 sort of the same. It works sort of the same way as the init in a class. Uh, when a module is imported, like from here, uh, regardless of what is imported, um, if, if if this module is imported straight up, so if you just put import commands, or if you import anything at all from this library, uh, this is run first, regardless of any other factors. This is always, always, always run first. So you can use this to kind of initialize variables. You could also use this to have some uh, base... Um, functions and stuff like we're going to be doing. Uh, so obviously from liberal port commands we're going to be putting the entire module so we're going to be doing stuff in that. It'll probably make a bit more sense when I actually start pro it which we're going to do now because you don't need to don't need to mess around with this. Uh, sorry for the cut, just cut out some coughing there, still got that, it's fine. Um, we don't need to put the same sort of copyright information in because uh, none of this is doing Amazon, this is all our stuff. Um, so we only need to import one or two things from here. We need to, from time import time. We don't need that right now, but we're going to need it later. And um, uh, we're going to be doing a relative import, which is what I was mentioning before. So from dot import misc. So essentially what this means is we are importing misc kind of into the commands module. Um, so you, you need to do that in it, in it anyway, regardless of, whether we're gonna, uh, regardless of whether or not we're going to do any other stuff. You need to import kind of stuff from a folder into the init for it to count in the module. It's a, I'm, I'm probably not going to be the best at explaining this. If you're kind of confused, it might be better to look this concept up elsewhere. But just know that this works. This will import misc into our init, um, which is where we need it, because this is where we're going to reference it from. Because this, this is where we're going to do all our command processing. So we've got a few more concepts we need to do. So our prefix, which could just be an exclamation mark for ease. Um, and we're not actually going to ignore that other constant for now. So commands, I like to make a dictionary, uh, just so it makes the command interpreter a little easier to do. So we're going to have a simple command called hello to begin with, and we're going to 
set the value to that as miss.hello, which doesn't exist yet, but we're going to make that in this video. Uh, so essentially what that means is kind of if we were to type, uh, we're going to make it so if we were to type hello, it would run this function, and this dictionary is going to be very useful for that. Um, it'll, again, it'll probably make more sense once we actually do it. So we're going to make two functions here, one called process, which is going to take bot, user, and message, and we're just going to pass for now. And another called perform, which is going to take bot, user, cmd, and a list of arguments, and we're going to pass that as well. In the process, we're going to check uh, initially if um, the message starts with our prefix. So we're going to do if message starts with prefix. If that come, if that is true, so if it starts with an exclamation mark in our case, we're going to set the cmd to be message dot split by space. Uh, the zeroth argument of that, and then we're going to get rid of the prefix from that, so we're going to say len prefix onwards. So what that will line us, will essentially do is it will turn hello uh, into hello, pretty much is what that's going to do. Um, and then we're going to set our args to be message dot split with a space, and then all arguments from the first one onwards because they're all our arguments. Um, and then we're simply going to call our perform, so use a cmd and an args. And in perform, this is where we're actually going to uh, perform the actual commands, hence why it's called perform. Uh, so in this, we're, uh, we're going to check uh, first if, the, if, our, if our command name, or if the commands that we've uh, try to run is actually a registered command in this commands dictionary. So for name and then func in cmds.items if command equals name we then run uh, whatever function is assigned to it. So if uh, to say if cmd was hello uh, this func uh, name would be set as hello uh, func would be miss.hello if command and name were the same it would run miss.hello and it will pass in bot, user, and all its arguments. And then we can just return out of that because we don't need to do anything further. Uh, if nothing exists, so if the command we try to run isn't in that dictionary, you can always see if it's the help commands. I always do the help commands separately because the help command just takes different arguments. <laughs> um, it, it, for me, it takes those arguments just because it's easy to work with. Um, but if it's not help either, we can just you, we can take the bot object which we pass through, and then just send a message saying. Uh, again, watch out for the quotations there. Uh, CMD. Oops, we actually need to say say what command it is. Isn't a registered command. Cool, and we basically now have everything we need. To run our commands. This is a very simple implementation of it so far. Uh, we're going to make this more complicated as the series goes on, but for now we're just kind of leaving it simple. So if we then go into our misc, we can then start writing out a few commands. So we're going to start with a help command. Uh, we're going to take our bot, our prefix, and our list of commands that were given, and we're just going to spit them back out to the user really. So bot send message, uh, registered commands. Uh, I'm not actually. I'm not going to use an F string here because it is a joy. I'm I'm kind of <clears throat> veered away from using F strings with joins because um, it just makes everything incredibly messy. Uh, so I'm actually going to use a join here. If you don't know what a join is, you basically pass an array into a join, and so long as they're string arguments, it will essentially it will essentially create a string with these string arguments. Uh, each of which separated by whatever you put here. So in this case, it would be colon and space. So we're basically made a, m making a comma separated list out of these things. Um, and we're going to create a list. We are actually going to use an F string for this. Uh, using the prefix and then the command. Uh, for command in command dot, or commands, sorry, dot keys. Um, so this will basically go through and just print everything. If you want them, if you want it sorted, you can, uh, like I tend to do, you can just have it sorted here. Uh, this will just uh, display all the commands in alphabetical order, so you can have uh, them in any list you want here. So you can have them separated by module, for example. 
uh, and I have them sorted here and this essentially just means because dictionaries aren't necessarily sorted uh, this just makes sure they actually are pretty much um, so that's, a, that's a, a neat little thing you can do if you want we're also going to make our hello command and we're going to pass our bot, our user and our args uh, if you don't pass this through, if you, don't, if you don't take this the bot will crash if someone tries to put in a command that it doesn't recognize um, so for example here if I were to put like help uh, hello I don't know boo lasses for example uh, this would crash the bot if this wasn't there because it would because the command processor would try and pass an argument that hello wasn't prepared to take um, so it's basically uh, this args just essentially just goes <coughs> throws them all out you could even potentially do this so I believe that would mean that they're not stored at all um, but that's just kind of naming conventions really um, you can do what you want really but I'm just going to follow the naming convention and we're just going to make a really simple pro uh, function here it says hey user name and then oh that's the wrong thing do 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 there we go <laughs> just had to make sure I got the order of that right uh, so we have our two very simple commands here we have our command processor here and we have everything we need here so we're just going to run that and make sure there's no errors as you can see this pycache folder was created that's just a python thing uh, you don't need to worry about that uh, oh twitch doesn't open there it is <laughs> thought it was for a second um, see we last down the line if we were to do help you can see our register commands are hello run hello super twitch if you run a, try and run a command called test if you twitch test is a register command so that's uh, kind of basic command stuff pretty much um, that's pretty much as basic as you can get but you can pretty much do anything you want off this now um, so yeah that's going to bring us to the end of this video if you like the video say hello down below and um, if you have any questions and stuff then feel free to leave them below as well or you can join the discord server in, using the link in the description below um, where me or someone else can potentially help you and you'll probably get help faster as well because YouTube notifications are great speaking of YouTube notifications if you enjoyed the series consider subscribing and also hit the bell so you actually know when the next video goes out um, and I'll see you next time where we do I believe it's database stuff yes yeah, so we're going to be do uh, uh, doing stuff in the database next time um, so yeah I'll see you next time for that